racism. Racism is the process by which systems and policies, actions and attitude create inc incredible opportunities and outcomes for the people based on race. Now before you click the dislike button for the uh, questionable video title, uh, hear me out first alright? When someone say racism or when someone is being racist, what do you think being racist means? I'll show you a series of clips and I want you to answer which is considered racist or not racist. Now after I show them the clips, I want to emphasize that which is considered racist and which is not. For the first clip, do you think it's racist to call someone out for setting up a PC in a wrong way? No, it's really too hard, otherwise you can crack the board. I chose Asus Z370 motherboard for two main reasons. One, it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also it has support for NVMe SSDs, meaning you can get really fast SSDs that are really easy to install. Pay close attention to the brace that goes at the back of the computer. You always have to make sure that you really hammer it in, because there's no screw, it really just has to go outside of the case and clasp onto the frame. And this is very important, because otherwise, you can't align the motherboard correctly with the holes. I'm just going to start installing all eight screws. Uh, another answer is no, you would get flame regardless of race. I mean, just look at Rice Gun, man. Anyways, back to the topic. He started to defend himself by saying that people are calling him out because he's black. I mean, eventually he did admit that he was at fault and actually did a collab with Linus Tech Tip, which cut off to him for only up for his mistakes. Not a lot of people would do that nowadays. Okay, for the second clip, here we have an American interviewer who wears a traditional Mexican outfit. Now, in my country, we don't celebrate Halloween, but aren't you supposed to wear something scary? But I digress. Anyways, they went around and asked if it's appropriate to wear any culture's clothing which is not your own. Would you guys like to chat with us today? No. That's what we want to talk to you about. Hola. You find my outfit offensive? Yes. You find it offensive? <laughs> Do you find it offensive? Uh, maybe a little. Do you think my outfit is offensive? Are you Mexican? No. Yes. And the answer is no, the guy in the video wasn't being obnoxious or mocking the culture. He is simply just wearing the outfit respectfully. Like, sure, I can understand if someone is wearing your culture's outfit and make some racist jokes or make fun of a stereotype. But simply wearing the outfit just means you are appreciating the culture as you are willing to wear it in public for people to see. I'll be happy if I see my favorite artist wearing a baju melayu or baju kurong since it signifies how we are being appreciated. So basically it's not racist to wear something as long as you do it respectfully of course. For the third clip, we have a police officer suspecting of a black guy of being a criminal uh, because they matched the description of someone named Quentin. Do you think this is racist when given the proper context? Uh, I don't trust. Could you shake it like you scared or something? Oh, okay. You you can't. Can you like you scared. He don't live in Louisiana. I don't, I don't really live in Louisiana. How the hell would I have a warrant in Louisiana? Shit. Quentin, you already said your name was that. My name is not Quentin. What the What's wrong with you? No, Sir, his name is my not name Quentin. Is Quentin. Then I see the ID and we'll be done. Well, in this case, it's a yes since police officers without a warrant cannot legally search your house unless you are doing the crime in front of the police. This is what we call trespassing. If it was a white person, who would less likely to get into trouble like this. Like, even the video said so. For the last clip, we have an officer stopping a black man in a supermarket for being too suspicious. Um, do you think it's racist? You need my ID for it, sir. Well, because you you want to run your mouth to me. No, because you was looking at my license plate That's for what? Right. Exactly. For what? You don't no, have exactly. the right to run this. I got my right you to do right anything to I want to do. I'm a police officer. You can't that, run that, that doesn't mean anything. Down, that doesn't mean anything. I'll pull you over and I'll tow your car. You see, he said, he, so he's not getting a supervisor. We requested a supervisor. I don't mind showing you my driver's license, you but driver's you, what license. is your reason that you're asking? Because. Why? Because you're acting suspicious. Well, yes, because being too suspicious isn't really a valid excuse to stop someone. I mean, being black isn't really something I'll call being suspicious. Uh, furthermore, the guy is right. He's not obligated to show his driver's license if the accused rhyme is being too sus. The word racist has been used so much that it's lost its actual value when calling someone out. When Congressman Elijah Cummings calls you a racist, 
your reaction is what? Well, I think the word has really gone down a long way because everybody's called a racist now. Uh, her own party called Nancy Pelosi a racist two weeks ago. Uh, the word is so overused, it's such a disgrace. And I can tell you, I'm the least racist person there is in the world. Love him or hate him? You can't deny that what he's trying to say is in fact true. Uh, the racist part anyway. Uh, people just call each other racist wherever you criticize them or if you're criticizing a black uh, People just call each other racist wherever you criticize them Especially if you're criticizing a black person if what I've noticed If someone calls me racist for basically anything, I wouldn't even be offended to be honest I would just be confused and just laugh it off I mean with that being said obviously racism is still bad But saying something is racist when clearly it's not that's just plain ignorance. I mean, if you're being ironic, then go for it. Human comes in different shape and form. Just don't be racist unironically. I don't have to tell you that. Now that the video is over, I would like to say thank you for watching and listening to, to my, I guess, rant. Uh, this is the only part of this video where I didn't write a script, so all I'm thinking is like on the top of my head. And I'm sorry, some of the voices are a bit unclear, um, I don't have a good mic and I'm, I know this isn't the usual videos that I make, like gameplay, I mean I wanna try to make a serious video every once in a while, I mean I might make a next one like maybe next year or something and I'll just get someone to voice act if I really don't like my voice that much. Uh, if if there's anyone willing to voice act, of course. If there's no one, I'll try to use my own voice. Now, uh, if you agree or disagree with my opinions, uh, you can leave a comment and illustrate why you don't agree or why you agree or you know, just write any opinion you want. I'm not blocking you. I'm, I'm, if it if it's your comment is deleted, then it's probably YouTube to be honest or your spam account. I'll, I'll probably delete that if you're a scam account. Uh, anyways, see you in the next video. Bye!